Hello, 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 friends and neighbors. It's me, Kicked to the Head. We are back in the Great Smoky Mountains, and we are going to do a little chaffing of the cornfield today. We're going to take it down here to the P BGA, the PGA, the BGA, and start getting some money coming in that way as well. Now, I've hooked up two of these little come-along trailers, the dolly trailers, and hopefully that would be enough. We can make it in one trip. We'll have to see. Now, if you remember right, the... The field that we plowed last time is the field that we're actually going to be working in today. And let's just come up this way because this will be the way we're going to be coming down. Snake it in here and stuff. So let's just get a little bit in cab. It's that field right over there. Now all the fields, if we just take a quick look here. Let me just do this. If we take a quick look here. Let's see. Potatoes are up. Sugar beets are up. And everything else is fine. Um, but we want to go to here. You can see everything's growing. It's almost ready to go to the harvest stage, as you can tell here. But we want to get the corn field right here, this field right here, before it switched. I believe that's field number 11. And because uh, I believe we have to use it when it's green to cut it down. Because I believe I have the green cut, our green silage mod in. And that was the reason why we couldn't chaff it last time when it was brown. So let me just put this down. Let me switch to that. Just stow that so we don't hit any trees. And hopefully we'll be able to pull this hill here. So all the fields are all done. So end of last episode, I finished plowing the field number 11. It was the big plow. That was the reason why it was missing so much. It was bouncing and stuff, and it was missing a lot of the... The ground. I went to a smaller plow and it fixed it beautifully. There was no issues. So it was that big plow that was causing us the problem. I thought as much, but I wasn't for sure. But that turned out to be the case. Whoa! You know what? Let's do four, five, six. There we go. Shut that back off. Let's just get the little bit of four-wheel drive and the diff lock and all that all on. So hopefully it will pull a little better then. And I get so squirrely on me. So you can see the potatoes are almost done. Let's get in cab here. Make sure this is getting, going to fit across here. I didn't think about that. Yep, it did barely. Problem is though, it may not fit through the gates. You know what? We're just going to cheat a little bit. I don't like doing this, but that's what we're going to do. So here's the field. If we take a look, it came out nice. And what we're going to do, let's just unfold this. You going to unfold? There we go. Open this up. And we're going to switch back to there and open the pipe up. And let's switch back to that trailer here. You know what? Let's keep it on here so we don't do anything stupid. So we'll turn this on. And let's just start cutting the corn. It should take it out. No problem. Yeah, there it goes. Not a problem. So we'll cut some corn up for a little bit do some chaffing we'll take this down to the bga try to get some of the bga going there try to earn some additional income that way this makes a big swath through there it's a big head so what i'm gonna do yeah i don't think these two trailers are gonna get it all in one go so if i just cut this here let's put that in reverse for a minute there we go. Now what I want to do is let's just switch around. Let's lift the header up. Probably could have turned the other way and would have been okay, but I just want to make sure I'm getting on it straight and not missing anything. There we go. We'll put it on the old numeral three. Do the little cruise control. Let's try a little in cab. See how we, uh, you just can't see nothing that way. So we'll stay out of cab. There's just no good in cab view at that at that harvester for sure. So welcome back. We got a lot to do. Like I said, we've got all the fields are almost ready to harvest. Um, by the time we get this one, this will take the whole episode doing this field, taking it over to the BGA, getting it dropped off there. We will check the fruit trees one more time look at the canola coming in over there nice and yellow lovely so we've got two soybean fields 
we've got a wheat field, a barley field, a canola field, and a corn field. And it's already filling up that back trailer, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, let's put it in reverse a little bit. There we go. And let's go ahead and come back in this way. Move the camera a little bit so I can see. It's almost full. It's going to hold about mm, 35,000 liters maybe. Somewhere around there. What we'll do is we'll just put a headland all the way around like this. And then that should be okay to go up and down. I don't know. Maybe we'll just continue doing circles like this. Seems fairly easy. Fairly straightforward. We can do that. What I think I'll do this time though, going back, is I'll actually drop the header, leave the header here in the field and take just the trailers down there. Actually, we may just go get the pickup truck. I wonder if that little pickup truck will pull both of them. It should. We'll give it a try and see. We'll just leave the combine here. And it's almost done. There it is. It's okay, it's not wasting it, so let me just back up a little bit. There we go. And put it to that trailer there. We'll drop that trailer. Put the brake on. Let's, uh, let's shut that off for a minute. Won't let me shut it off. Okay. Odd. There we go. I had to drop the header to do it. Okay, let's switch to this. Okay. You can see I got all the shaft out of here. All the shaft is gone. I did that end of last episode, or off camera actually at the end of last episode. It's all up in the second bunker up there. It's fermenting away as well. Now hopefully this little thing will pull both of those trailers. We'll see. Probably be quicker to actually use the the harvest machine. Does that look like rain coming? Awful dark over there. I don't remember it being that dark around here. Looks like we may be getting some rain coming in. So if we come around here. Yeah, a couple passes on that should, should wipe that field out fairly good. So we're looking at maybe four maybe five trips with the trailers that we currently got now i could have went with the bigger trailer uh bigger trailer and tractor and drove alongside of the hired help do it but i wanted to do it myself so we'll come in here now will we be able to get into those trailers let's see let's do this put it in reverse What are you doing, numb nuts? I don't want you. There we go. Now let's go ahead and take this on up to the BGA. I have to drive over to potatoes a little bit. Not good. Yeah, that's not ideally placed that entrance to that field there. That's for sure. Okay. Let's sign it on down now. We'll take this down. We'll see what this does for us. Now, of course, we have to ferment it and stuff before we can actually start making money with it. But it's a good start anyway. We'll have to get uh, some kind of front-end loader that we can rent and put down there and compact and everything like that. And take the manure or the finished silage and stuff into and drop it into the manure. But we can go in right down here. And I think what we'll do is we'll use this first one here right in front of the, the dropper. So let's make our turn wide. And we'll come up around through here. And let's start pouring. Let's 
slowly, slowly, slowly pour. There we go. Now let's take this back up. We'll have to come around and see. We'll be able to dump it in right there. And we'll come back around. So that's the start. We'll start filling these up. We'll get some additional income coming in. Now this won't be ready for a little while. But we got all the harvesting and stuff that we're going to have done this this ep or for the next few episodes anyway. That will keep us busy while that ferments away. So with any luck then, between harvest, we'll be able to do the stuff like the silage and the manure and get the greenhouses ready and stuff like that. Now the thing is, I have to hook this, drop this in such a way to where the, harvest, the harvester can just back right up to it and connect it to the double trailers again. through here and let's try to make a little wide turn we'll come right around the tree here just like that perfect now I have to go down a little ways turn around and come back up and drop this off so let's try this drive through the corner a little bit so if we come right to here and let me aim just to the side of that oh, hit it a little bit there we go let's drop that whoops drove through the fence and we'll park right over here so he's not tempted to spray the shaft into here we'll jump out we'll get up in here we'll connect our header back up let's put it in reverse We'll back up to connect to the trailers. And away we go. Whoop, not that. We want this. There we go. Now we're cooking with Crisco again. We are back going live. Here we go. Now I'm going to try the up and down motion and see how well this works. See if it's any better than going around in circles. Should be okay this way. Yeah, it won't take but a couple. I maybe I'm, I added a little more in the trailers than I thought. I said five, I think it was. We could probably do it, maybe three. We'll have to see, because it's really not that bad. It's, I think we'll be able to get it in two or three passes. We're not quite at 50% yet, and we've almost got it halfway. Yeah, this couple couple trailer fulls. So I think this trip and then one more trip after that won't fill it all the way up, but we'll have to dump what we can. Let me just back back up. Yep, that's going to not do as good as I thought. You know what? Let's do it this way then. There we go. Jackknife it a little bit, but I got us back straight. If we come up here, we are at 50% now. And looking at that, probably, yeah, another pass up and down both sides, I think we'll do it. This should get us the 100% up here at the top. If we come up. Yeah, a couple more passes. It might be a fourth load in there. You're still wider up at this end than down at that end down there. Just 
just like that will come through here and if I come back around now we're going to stop right as it gets to 100% because it will continue to munch away happily without anywhere for it to go Yeah, it's going to be close. Four loads might do it. Okay, what I want to do is go forward just a bit. Then we get to 100%. Then we'll back up. And you know what? That's, that's good enough. So let me just shut that off. Let me back up just a tad bit. I want to switch to this trailer. Dump that. And stop, put the brake on. Now it's working. So let's switch back to this one. And let's go grab our trailers. Take the brake off. Yeah, it's wider up here than down there. So yeah, maybe maybe we were pretty accurate to begin with. Four or five loads. Now will I be able to get this in there? No problem. Let's see. Let's come a little wide. Here we go. Okay, connect that up. Let's take it out. So we got 40 minutes on the rental time. That's not too bad. We'll be able to get this field done, no problem. How are we doing on time otherwise? We're about 17, 17 and a half minutes in. Let's see, where is the gates? Right there. Now, can I shave this corner? like so and then make our tree here yeah we can that works lovely so this should help us out it should bring quite a bit in and this time what I want to do I want to bring up the F1 I want to see how much is in there and how much it will hold we're holding right about 4200 liters each haul so this should put it close to, what, 82,000 82, liters? Somewhere around there, 42,000 each load. So about 82,000 liters. If my math is correct. Okay, let's come back out. And we want to start pouring about midway down. Yeah, if we go right here. Back trailer will dump first, I think. Yep. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start pouring. Back up just a tad bit and start this one. Great, that works out good. So now we go get maybe a couple more loads. I think that will do it. We'll shut that back off. And I think what we'll do though, if we're going to make the BGA work, what we'll probably do is instead of field 11 corn, we'll probably make field 12 right next to it, the bigger field corn. That way we can keep a, a large supply of shaft coming down to the BGA as well as when we need it we can take it up to the cows and stuff to our silage clamp and start doing silage up there as well or we can always just do it here at the BGA and if need be then we can just haul a couple trailer loads up to our silage well we got our loose our bulk shed still down at the farm that we can store as well So now this way we should be able to do the, oh, that doesn't work very well. Can I get out of this predicament I'm in now? There we go. Now we should be able to go just the opposite way. If we come a little wide right here, you know what? I'm going to have to try to go in cab. I can't see very well this way, all the trees. And then we come through here. 
Nope, I'm stuck. Just like this. There we go. Now if we come down... Come through here... Whoa, 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 stop. Drop that off there. Come over here. Set the brake. Shut that off. Here we go. Now this will be close to finishing it up now. Okay, R in reverse. Shut the brake off. We'll connect up. Switch back to there. And away we go. Now hopefully this will be close to getting done. The field. And then we just have a little bit. We may see about actually filling up the, the little truck as well that we got. Take our final load if it's just a little bit left. So we got that there. And let's spin back around. Come through here and get this load. Yeah, depending on how much is left, we might see about taking filling that little truck up there as well. I believe that holds 800 liters. It's not a lot, but if there's only a little bit left on the field, it might be wise to go ahead and try to do it that way. But, but judging by this, you know, there's going to be quite a bit more than 800 liters left on the field. So this will be the third trip we have here. Yeah, it will be at least four trips. Maybe we were right to begin with with five trips. It'll be close. So almost 50% now. Okay, spin back around. We might make it back up here. It might be close. We'll see. We'll see how much is left. Because it's thinner down there. We're, we won't have as much down here as we do when we're coming back up. So we're at 50% now. So now it's filling up the back trailer. Seems like the second trailer fills up much quicker than the first trailer. Okay. Now if we come back around... How are we going to do this? Stay straight right up here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be more than 800 liters, I think, on the field remaining. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I'll park the truck over here and see if it will fill it up and see how well it will do. It'll be close. Yeah, definitely be more than 800 liters. There we go, 98%. You know what, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and shut that off. Let us put it in reverse. Let's back up a little bit. There we go. Switch to the first trailer, drop that. We'll come back around. Just like this. Yeah, I'm curious to see how much is actually in there. So let's try filling up the truck. Why not? We'll take it down there and see what we can do. We'll hook up the trailers first and then... Okay. 
Okay, let's head over here. Let's see what this will do. Okay, let's spin this around. Don't go through there. Well, this thing has no turning radius at all, just like in real life, this model air truck. Okay, so let's come right about here. Let's put the brake on for a minute. Careful of those. Now, if we start this back up, Why won't it start? Yeah, it won't start, so... Yeah, the header won't start, so obviously it doesn't fill into that truck. Or will it? No. Okay, let's back up. Yeah, it won't start. The header won't start. Switch it. There it goes. There it started. See how much is that foil? Switch to the truck. Got a little bit of room left. Let's drive right down over here. There we go. Put the brake on. Let's try a little more in here. We'll fill it all the way up as max as we can. Get in there. Still filling the back piece up. Now let's switch to that. Need a little more room forward. Yeah, it's going to hold quite a bit more than I thought it would. Oh, careful. Okay, so we'll spin back around. We should be able to get the remainder of this in that truck. Let's see. That way we only have to do it in three trips. We'll get the last little bit right here. If it doesn't, we'll harvest, We'll chop it down anyway and we'll not worry about it. So let's switch it to there. Stop. Let's come over here. We'll get the truck. Yeah, we're at 96%. We should hold the rest. So if I drive about right there, that should be good. And if we just go ahead and start going here. Perfect. Okay. So we can shut that off. We can fold this up. And we can actually just sell that as well. Let's throw the pipe. And we can just not sell it, but we can return it. Let's go ahead and set the brake. Shut that off. Let's go ahead and return these. We don't need them right now. So open up the headers. Actually, we go garage. Return vehicle. Sell it. Yes. And return vehicle. Sell it. Yes. There we go. And this cornfield is done. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Let me turn my drive control back on. My drive control is off. There we go. And we still have a little room left in there, actually. 3%. So it's actually pretty good. So more than I thought it was going to hold. So if we just... Oh, I'm not even in the right spot. There's a spot right there. So let's head on down there. We'll drop this remaining bit into the BGA. And that's another, well, 44 figure, another 45,000. 12, I'm guessing around uh, 120, 20,000 liters, almost 121,000 liters, I'm guessing, somewhere around there. 
is what we should have. How are we doing on time? 30 minutes in. So we're at the half hour mark now. So this will finish it up here. And come through here. And if we've done this, we'll drive this one out here. Let's do the F1 thing. And we'll go ahead up here and get the last trailer on first. We'll start dumping trailers. Drop that trailer. And let's back up a little bit. Now we'll start dropping this. There we go. So how much we got in there? 128, almost 130,000 liters. So 129,000 almost. So let's compact that down a little bit. Is that 21% compacting? We'll use these trailers to help for weight to compact it down. Yeah, we're going to need something bigger than that, I'm afraid. That's going to go slow if we don't. Unfortunately, we don't have anything heavier. We would have to rent something. And that's a waste of money. So we'll just continue doing it this way. We'll drive back and forth on it. It won't take it long. We'll compact it down. So it's almost at 40% now. 41. I think it switched to 42 right there at the last. There we go. Get this last little bit. It's almost 50%, y'all. This episode will be a little longer than normal. Not much. It'll be okay. Still be around the 30, 30 minute mark. Somewhere around there. Oop. Yeah, thing can't even drive over a piece of broken rubble. Okay, how are we doing? 50%. So we're good now. We'll just start doing this last little bit. Fifty-eight, almost sixty percent, sixty, sixty-two. Come on now, let's get this done. Sixty-four, sixty-five, almost there, you guys. Hang in there. I know, I know. Hang in there. Seventy percent. Almost 80, come on. 80%. think we can get it in the next pass through. I think we'll make it. This should be close to doing it. Ninety percent. Okay, we'll spin around one last time. This will do it. We'll be able to tarp it over and drive right out then. There we go. So we'll blanket that silo now. There we go. And we've got almost 130,000 liters of silage going so let's quickly just sell these trailers not sell them but take them and put them back we want to go to garage these will return vehicle yes and return vehicle yes so that's it once again we are done with another episode thank you for joining me once again in the great smoky mountains for farming sim 15 if you liked the episode hit that like up button show me the love if you didn't like it obviously you'd hit the down arrow it's okay to down the thumbs down I understand it's not for everybody, but all the links in the descriptions to all the social media as well as the Steam group as well as my sponsor can all be found right down below as well as the link to find the map. Until next time, I'm going to kick to the head. Thank you for joining me.
We'll see y'all later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.